I'm Victor Glover, NASA astronaut, Navy commander. I'm Dr. Shannon Walker, NASA astronaut. My name is Soichi Noguchi from Japan. Hi, I'm Colonel Mike Hopkins, United States Air Force and NASA astronaut. I will be the commander on NASA and SpaceX's Crew-1 mission to the International Space Station. Crew-1 is the designator for the first operational mission of the SpaceX Crew Dragon. So it's a new vehicle. We are starting the phase where we are flying astronauts, NASA is flying astronauts to the International Space Station on commercial crew vehicles. We're going to go up and we're going to stay for the full long duration uh, from six to seven months long. And one thing that's very different about our flight versus Doug and Bob's is we'll have four people. Um, how do four people live and operate on such a vehicle? We want to get our Crew Dragon spacecraft to the space station and home safely. Flying the spaceship is one piece. There's also the very important mission of being on the International Space Station. And of course, once I arrive on the space station, I'll be a border engineer and do lots of science and maintenance and uh, spacewalks, robotics, all kinds of work. And then at the end of our mission, our stay on ISS, uh, I'll command the vehicle and bring us back home and, and land, and, and uh, then at that point, it's all done. Well, actually, it's not all done. Once you get back from the mission, uh, you, you have a long post-flight period. You know, you, you go through the day-to-day -day training, the day-to-day -day operations to get ready for it. There's the basic competencies, I guess, flying T-38s, uh, the high-performance jet flying that we do, the NBL training, the diving in the full pressure suit, the space suit, to train for spacewalks, robotics training, and I'm still taking Russian classes. The science uh, payloads, and also the maintenance tasks, and also some of the uh, assembly tasks uh, remain on the space station. How to handle emergencies on the space station, to how you fly the Crew Dragon spacecraft, We've been going out to SpaceX and working with them um, from a training standpoint as well as from a development and verification and testing standpoint. Also in many ways, having trained in spacecraft and for spaceflight all over the world, training is training and it's all about the same. You start off with theoretical work and then you move into the practical in cyberspacecraft. You know, it, it is a, it's a great honor, first and foremost, and looking at all their experience, it makes me, one, comfortable that there's so much experience and so many ways that I can learn from them, uh, but at the same time, uh, I, I want to be ready and, and able to contribute. Uh, my, my kids, my wife have said, you don't go to work anymore, do you? It's like, it's like you go and just play all day, and, and that's what it feels like when you, when you come here to JSC and you get to train. Um, and it's, it's much more serious than that, right? It has real consequences. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I, I just absolutely love it. To be able to fly a new spacecraft to our home of almost two decades in low Earth orbit is just an amazing accomplishment. Americans are really should be proud of this achievement. But for the rest of the uh, 7.4 billion people, I will open the door for you. This is an international corporation, and all the other people around the world have a chance to ride on this crew ride. So this is a new era. I think it is just tremendously exciting and fascinating to know that kids are growing up today that have always had people living in space and always had the countries working together for science and engineering objectives. All for one, crew one for all. <laughs>